Hey guys, Dave here, coming back to you with a new video on Racing Rivals. Um, I know I'm making a lot of Racing Rivals videos, but it's relevant right now, so that's kind of why. I wanted to show you guys a money glitch that is possible at the moment, um, and it will probably work until the administration is back in office on Monday or Tuesday, or Friday. Depending on if they're going in tomorrow or not, I don't know, but they probably won't go back since it's Thanksgiving. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a money glitch that I found. I started on this account with $3,000, and I now have 55000 So the money glitch is simply with the crates. You go to Shipyard, and you want the $200 crate. You can probably do this with higher tier crates, but since you get D to A class on this one, for example, it's not really worth it. Um... 450 B class or better, that might be worth it as well, but that's a little bit more expensive. You can do that when you're a little bit higher up. So, for example, um, I'm going to get the 100 extra garage slot or 1,000 extra garage slots. And then from here, you want the $200 crate to start. So you just want to literally spam through this. You can honestly set up an auto clicker to just use pretty much all your money. Just leave it clicking right here. I'm going to buy 10 crates. Or, you know, however many I feel like buying before it kicks me out anyway. So you're just going to keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. And it's uh, thanks to Dr. Daddy, by the way, uh, on, here on YouTube that actually put up a video about this. Um, I kind of noticed it during my live stream yesterday, but I didn't actually put two and two together. So we're just going to keep going a little bit further. And honestly, I kind of doubt they would close this money bug because the game is pretty much dead. Um, they announced the closure of it. So, oh, I got a P1. I'm not selling that. All right, let's go. Oh, I got a 3000 GT, one of my favorite cars. So you want to go back to your garage now. And what you can do from here is sell the items that are in the inventory, and you can also sell the cars that you got. So, like, I paid $200 for that crate. I'm making a $6,050 profit here. I'm keeping that car because it's fucking sexy. Um, $5,000 profit there. Fucking $15,000 profit there. 8000 profit. I'll keep that because it's a Porsche. That's one of the rare cars. As you can see, I'm flying through the money right now. Just sell the cars you don't want that you get from the crates, and you will make bank. There's the Bentley Continental, too. That's a nice car. There's the Hemi. The wide-body ACR. I'll keep that. That's nice. What's this guy sell for? I'm not a muscle car guy. Sorry. 300ZX, one of my favorite cars in this game. And then from there, you can also go inventory. And anything that's in here that you don't want, you can sell as well. You just got to find the stuff that's worth more than 200 which is very difficult. But... It is possible, at least. That's a nice paint. Not on this car, but it's a nice paint. All right, let's go to collections and see what I win from collections from doing that. Workbench. Where do I need to go? Down here, across. Oh, that converts them to bronze. I don't want to do that. I can get fuzzy dice. Yay. I can get... This stuff. I don't have the chop shop, so let's go... Customization, then. What can I get here? I can get a paint common. I can get a wheel common. I can get headlights and underglow. Let's go back to this and open up one of these uh one of these ones here. We'll do Japan. Uh yes. 
any paint. I like the white gloss. I like the wasabi gloss. Let's get rid of eggnog. Then any collectible brand. Let's get rid of Ford. Cause screw you, Ford. Oh, screw you, Ford. Um, and we'll do Mitsubishi. Cause why not? Let's see what I get in this crate. Oh, I got a Mazda badge. Is that even Japanese? What the hell? <laughs> but yeah, basically that's how the money bug works. And let's see. Let's do this quote unquote live with the 450 one. There's the turf war crates. Holy shit. So we'll do the 450. See what I get. I'll watch the first one. Subaru. As long as it sells for more than 450, you're good. Lancer. I don't think I'm going to get anything amazing out of this one. We'll open like 10 or 20 of them. I'll go down to like 50k. I got the new NSX. Got a Mazda. I don't know what that was. NSX. I don't know what the best car in this pack is. Because I don't play this game, really, at all. I don't understand why they left some of them as gems. Why didn't just make them all RRC? Because you can't buy gems on the game anymore. So I don't know why they'd leave it that way. I feel like this game had some promise for sure. But they've just... I don't know what... I don't honestly know what killed it. I mean, I know not really many people like the 7.0 update. But if they just made it easier to make money, it would have been fine. Yeah, I'm just going to sell all these cars I got. I didn't get anything good out of this. These are all sellable cars that I do not want. None of them are worth a ton either is the other problem. There was a lot of good ideas thrown to him, too. Oh, I got the Skyline, though. That's worth a lot. I got this guy. 31,000. So, yeah, it's definitely worth doing the 450 crate, I think. 61,000? Definitely worth doing the 450 crate over the 200 crate. 38,000. I'm keeping that car, though. 12,000. 9,000. 9,000. I feel like you get more expensive cars more often. 31. Yeah, another 61, but I'm going to keep that and build it. 12,000. The VR4 is 31,000. 9,000. The NSX is 42 grand. It's definitely worth doing the um, 450 crate over the others. 31,000 for a VR4. That's insane. I don't really care about this Supra very much. I just want one of every car in the game before the game closes. But I want to build this thing too. So I think I am going to do like... I've never actually done a Let's Play Racing Rivals style stream or anything like that. I do want to do that before I lose my chance. Um, because it's a good concept for a game. But I want to max out some of these cars and actually... I never completed campaign. Are you kidding? Did I really not? I guess not on this account. But, like, I'm going to build some of these cars up. This one for sure I want to build. Because the P1, just a smexy vehicle. It's still an hour to wait for that to install, though. Lower your install times, guys. Jesus Christ. You want us to just play the game? I bet you if the game was coded this way from the beginning, with much shorter times, cheaper parts, and stuff like that, it would have done better. Everything's just too expensive in this game. That's half the problem. Like, why is that? I missed this part. But I'm going to get this car maxed out. You guys know the money bug now. I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
This will probably not be seen until after Thanksgiving, even though I'm recording it on Thanksgiving. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, which is kind of nice for once to know that I have videos set up and ahead of time kind of stuff. Um, but I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Just beat up this money bug if you can, while you can. If they leave it in, they leave it in. If they take it out, they take it out. You're going to want to get your monies before they patch this up, though, just in case. Sure, the game is closing, but it's still hard to make money in this game unless you do this. Let's get this thing maxed out. Let's see what the max is on this and what it runs. Or wait, no, I can't in this stream because it's, or this video because it'll take too long to install these parts. Duh. I wonder how long they knew they were going to close the game, actually. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, let's do one big crate to close it off. What's the... I think 2000 is that the most expensive crate? Or is it these 5000s? It's these guys. Let's do a $5,000 crate, see what we get. I already got one of those. That was a pointless thing to do. Let's do a day two. We'll do a day one. A Fiat. Alright, let's see what that 2000 crate gives. We'll just do one of each crate here. That's RRC. I got a TC. Some paint. Ew. Okay. And the other expensive guy is this guy. That's not bad. That's a cool crate. One wheel, one paint. One underglow. So there's no cars in that one. But. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. Uh, D to A class car. This is kind of a pointless crate to do. Because you're going to spend more trying to get the nice cars than you are going to make back, probably. So yeah, this is still the nicest one to do is the 450 crate while it's here. So just spam this thing, guys. Just set an auto clicker to it or something. Get like... 500 cars, sell all the cars, and you'll make bank. Actually, they might ban you still for that. I don't know. Just go for it. All right, let's see. The last car I get is a 3000 GT. Cool. Why do I have a no teeth? Oh, because I did a daily goal. Nobody cares about daily goals anymore. And then, like I said, just sell off your cars. I have so many cars in here now. But this is the easiest way to make money right now in Racing Rivals. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I dragged this video on much longer than it needed to be. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.